Hello, Professor. I am so excited to share with you my manager interview. So let's begin. All right. So the first slide. Uh, so I interviewed Mark Curvita. Um, he is an experienced mechanical engineer with a demonstrated history in new product development and continuation of engineering and like the product development. He's been a manager for about 10 years through different positions and he just started his own business called Pezo Solutions. So he's the owner of that. So a little bit about Pezo Solutions. So on to the next slide. Um, Pezo is a engineering service or they offer a lot of services for people like like example, engineering, product development, technical writing, talent management. And so what they do is a client will come in and will say, oh, I want to make this product, but they don't know how to make a product. They just have the idea and they need someone to make it and make it functional. So Peso Solutions, they do that. And this business has been going on for about three years now and they've been doing really well. When I was in Mark, showed me one of the projects that they worked on and it was a hexagonal trampoline. So figuring out how to make it work because a lot of trampolines are circular. So making it where like the displacement of force is, which was very exciting, which is really cool. All right. And so right away I asked Mark, what about some of his responsibilities and what ones are very important to him and what he does. And he said that being a leader is super important for being a manager and how like being a strong leader will have a strong, make your team very strong. And also responsibility is very important, like making sure, keeping up with like paperwork and which is not a big thing a lot of people think about. I didn't think about it, but just being organized and being responsible with paperwork and making sure he's on top of certain like things so make sure like nothing gets fallen behind and then also communicating with his team and making sure they have a really strong connection and making sure you know things are going smoothly because it is his own business so he cares really deeply and he wants to make sure it's successful and he also uh his one of his jobs is to attract talent to his team so getting people that have skill sets that his team currently doesn't have so he figures out what his team doesn't have and then add it into his team. And he also said getting rid of talent it, that doesn't work out is very difficult. And I'll touch more on that later in the presentation. All right, on to the next slide. We talked about setting goals and how to motivate a team. So he explained that his concept or his process of make, setting goals is first he sets a big corporate goal and then like he figures it out on his own and then he brings in the team and then illustrates what that entails. And then he breaks it down into smaller goals for the team members. So like each team member has an individual goal and then he makes a schedule. So he figures out like check-in dates with them, you know, like when they're available and like when, like make sure like there's a deadline and make sure it's like workable so it's not too much to do and then um, he really stresses about communicating with his team is highly important because it is a smaller team and he wants it to be very strong because strong team strong business and he also explained appreciating the team and then learning about what their personal goals goals are and being a resource for them to reach those goals because he really wants to help his team members out because they're really great people. All right, on to the next slide. Challenges that Mark struggles with, or not really struggles with, but it just challenges him is firing employees is very difficult for him, like figuring out like, oh, is it time for this person to go? He gave a story to me and he explained a time where an employee wasn't doing as well. And what he did was he talked to the employee because he had a lot of potential, but he just wasn't working well. And so what Mark did was he promoted this employee 
And the employee actually was so surprised that they were promoted because they thought they were going to get fired, that they worked harder and they excelled and they are actually a very good employee, which I thought was really cool because a lot of time we hear about, oh, they're not doing well, let's cut them. But Mark gives them the benefit of the doubt and challenges them. And another struggle that or challenge is um, conflicts between employees and clients. And he told me that his process is talking to both sides and figuring out what caused it and then hopefully come to a compromise together. And then one more or two more slides. So the next one is integrating, integrating faith into work. And he really talked about everything he does and his company is founded on everything that is given like glory to God. It is super important and everything that he does is for God. And I also asked him like, what like, do you do when you're in a difficult situation and you can't really like, and the person that you're having a conflict with is not a Christian and he explained to be the light, be transparent to everyone and be respectful. He said those are super important and like in a way like just being around them like influences them in a positive way. Right. And then the final slide, my biggest takeaway of the manager interview was really learning that like what he does and his like very powerful was the employee story of him giving that employee the benefit of the doubt and like pushing him to succeed and how much he cares for his employees is super powerful. But, well, thank you for listening. I hope you have a nice Christmas break.